when we talk about why the middle class of America is disappearing, why it is that millions of people today are working at jobs, earning less money than they did 20 or 30 years ago, one of the major factors is our disastrous trade policy. Now trade, trade is not a sexy issue. It is virtually never talked about on television at all. Very rarely talked about in the media. But it is of huge con <laughs> consequence for the working people of this country. Let me give you an example of what I mean. Since 2001 in America, we have lost 60,000 factories and millions of good paying jobs. There was once a time in America where if you had a high school degree or some college, you can get a job in a factory, not necessarily the greatest job in the world, but if you had a union behind you, you can make middle class wages, you got good health care, you got good retirement benefits. And no state in America benefited from a strong manufacturing sector more than the state of Michigan. I don't know how many of you know this, and I, was, I just learned this the other day, and I was really shocked to know this. Did you all know that in 1960, 56 years ago, Detroit, Michigan was considered one of the wealthiest cities in America. You all know that? Today, Detroit is one of the poorest big cities in America. 50 or 60 years ago, Flint, Michigan was one of the prosperous cities in America. Today, needless to say, the poverty rate is off the charts. Now, why is that? What happened? Well, one of the major reasons is that as a result of disastrous trade policies in this country, corporations said, why do I want to pay a worker in Detroit or Flint or any, any city in America decent wages with decent benefits when I can move to Mexico, move to China, move to Vietnam, and pay workers there pennies an hour? And, <clears throat> and that is what they did. They shut down tens of thousands of factories through millions of workers out on the street. Now, you're looking at a former congressman and a United States senator who not only voted against NAFTA and CAFTA and permanent normal trade relations with China. I voted against those agreements because I did not think it is right to have American workers forced to compete against people who are making 50 cents or a dollar an hour. That was wrong. On the other hand, Secretary Clinton, or when she was first lady or a senator, supported almost all of these disastrous trade agreements. She supported NAFTA, PNTR with China, PNTR with Vietnam, the Chile Free Trade Agreement, the Colombia Free Trade Agreement, the Korean Free Trade Agreement. All of these trade agreements together have cost us millions of decent paying jobs, led to the deindustrialization of America and the decline of the American middle class. And it is not just the loss of jobs that resulted from these trade agreements. I'll tell you what else happened. Right now in manufacturing plants in Michigan, many of the new jobs that are being created are paying substantially less than the older jobs. Because companies are saying, if you do not pay, you do not accept these low wages, we're gonna move to China or Mexico. This is the race to the bottom and this is something that if elected president, we are going to radically change. <laughs>